Yo, Mario! In this video, I'm going to be looking at a box, a drop, and a conveyor. It's a physics problem. So let's uh, go and have a, a look at the problem. A 20 kg block, block box is dropped vertically onto a horizontal conveyor belt moving at 4.2 meters per second. The coefficient of friction between the box and the belt is 0 0.5. Remember our coefficient of friction is dimensionless. So A, will the box immediately start, start, <laughs> it'll just be the one start there, but because the way this program is, um, not always possible to do that, so we'll just cross that out, just so we know. Will the box immediately start moving at 4.2 meters per second on contact with the belt? Well, no, no it won't. It accelerates until it reaches the speed. B, if not, which is the case, how far will it move before it is moving at that speed? Assume the frictional force stays constant. Okay, so if we look at the box, we can see that it has a, a weight force downwards of mg and the reaction to that and to the normal, to the, uh, to the belt Rn. And then we have our frictional force. So our frictional force is equal to mu Rn. Mu we know is 0 0.5. And the uh, reaction force in the normal direction, or at the normal or right angles to the belt, is 20, a mass of 20 kilograms t times 10 meters per second acceleration due to gravity. And that gives us a value of 100 newtons. Now it's that 100 newton force that enables the, the box to accelerate up to the 4.2 meters per second that, that, it, that it needs or that, that the belt's running at. So using um, our F equals MA, we know that 100 equals 20A and quite simply a or the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared so the box will accelerate at 5 meters per second squared up to the speed of 4.2 meters per second It'll travel along on the conveyor so now it remains to calculate the distance so we use the formula velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus 2 acceleration times the distance s and s is what we want to actually calculate so let's just fill in a few numbers here we've got the final velocity which is 4.2 squared uh, equals the initial velocity which is 0 plus 2 um, which is 2 acceleration is 5 times s so just rearranging that formula a little bit we can say we can see that um, 4 point, S equals 4.2 squared divided by 10, 2 times 5. So just going straight to the calculator, we can see that that would equal 1.764 metres. So the box on hitting the, um, the conveyor belt, on dropping onto the conveyor belt, hitting the dry conveyor belt, would accelerate at 5 metres per second squared for 1.764 uh, meters um, until it reached the speed of 4.2 meters per second, the speed of the belt.